So, um, um, towards the end of his life, Newton recalled this period of great discoveries. And um, I would like to read this memorandum because it is somewhat moving in a way. Uh, in the beginning of the year 1665, I found the method of approximating series and the rule for reducing any dignity of any binomial into such a series. This is, of course, the well-known binomial theorem that was one of the first uh, discoveries that Newton made as a creative mathematician, let us say so. The same year, that is 1665, in May, I found the method of tangents of Gregory and Lucius. Gregory is James Gregory, a great Scott mathematician, and Lucius is Desluze, um, uh, uh, an interesting mathematician too. Um, and um, uh, in November had the direct method of fluxions, that is, the algorithm that allows you to calculate tangents to curves. And the next year, in January, had the theory of colors. This is the famous theory of light that Newton developed in these years, because mathematics was not enough, of course. And in May following, I had entrance into the inverse method of fluxions. What is the inverse method of fluxions? This is what we call integration in Leibniz's terms. So we have here a chronology that Newton recalls that the extant manuscripts basically confirm. And Newton concludes after a few words in which he mentions his study on the moon. He says, for in those days I was in the prime of my age for invention and minded mathematics and philosophy more than, than at any time since. So this memorandum can be uh, can be, you know, a first approximation, if I may say so, to the chronology of Newton's discovery when he was a young mathematician.